Loop recording is a new feature that's out on the Insta361R for all lens mods. It's simple to use, but there are certain things that you do need to know about how it works. So let's get straight to it and take a look. Loop recording is an efficient way of recording because you can record over the same piece of memory card over and over again on a loop without using unnecessary memory and shooting unnecessary hours of footage. To select loop recording, you simply select the video camera icon in the bottom left hand corner and then scroll down and you'll see loop recording. Tap to select it and now tap on the settings in the bottom right of the screen. So here you can set your resolution and frame rate and you can also set the record duration. And this is the important bit to know about. Loop recording will record in one minute file length so it creates a new file every one minute. So if we set the setting to five minutes, for example, then that will give us five files of one minute each. And at the moment, the file length is something you can't change. So it is one minute and it's fixed. What you can change here is the maximum length of the entire loop. So the section of memory card that you want to keep re-recording over. So you can select one, three, five, 10, 15, 20, 25 or 30 minutes. So if I choose 10 minutes and then select the tick icon and then press record, the camera will now record over a 10 minute section of the memory card and it will create a new file every one minute. And when it reaches 10 minutes, it will then go back to the beginning and delete the file that it first created. So it would delete the oldest file first and then so on and so on and so on until it reaches 10 minutes and then it go back to the oldest file first. So that is your loop, is the 10 minutes of memory card that you'll keep re-recording over. So you'll only ever record over that one section of memory card until you press stop and then start recording again and then it will create a new loop. So why would you even want to use loop recording? Well, a lot of the time people use loop recording for dash cam, so in their car or on their helmet. And this would be used as a safety feature to capture your daily commute. So the idea of loop recording gives you an efficient way of recording because you only ever record over a maximum of 30 minutes on your memory card. And then if something important happened on your journey, then you know that you've captured that 30 minutes. So you'd then go back to the memory card and extract whichever bit you wanted to use. But there are also more interesting ways that you can use loop recording as well. To avoid having countless hours of footage on your biking or your hiking adventure, you could use loop recording to restrict how much stuff you shoot. So for me, if I went out for a bike ride or a walk, I'm not interested in capturing really long videos. So I would set it on a five minute loop. And if something amazing happens on your adventure, then you can stop recording and you know you've just captured that piece of footage and then you start a new loop. Skiing is a really good example of where loop recording is really handy because you want to capture that moment when someone falls over and loop recording enables you to do that without having to record hours and hours of footage and to record all day long. You could set it on a five or 10 minute loop and you know that as soon as you've captured that moment where somebody does something funny, then you then just press stop and then start a new loop. If you want to look at the video in the studio software and you drag all the files in at the same time, then it will play as one video. But if you drag in one single loop recording, then it will only play that one single loop. So that one one minute file. If you are viewing the files in the camera itself or on the app, then it will play it all as one single video. So you can't view individual one minute files. Let me know what you think about this loop recording feature and how you think you'll use it. And if you want to find out more about other cool features of the Insta360 cameras, you can watch these videos next. My name's Rich, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, <laughs>